Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. By death, by death, he trampled death. By death, by death, he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he granted, he granted, he granted life. Christos vos cres, Christos vos cres, vos cres, vos cres. Vos crescenis med et vis med Deus med Deus med people proud med Deus med Deus med people proud Jesus Jehovah Jesus Jehovah Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death. By death he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he's granted, he granted, he granted life. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Christos voskrese iz mertvih, smerti u smert poprav, Isus im vo hrobi život daroval. Christ is risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Christos voskrese In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from the high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, <laughs> have mercy. For our holy father, Francis Pope of Rome, for our most reverend metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable presbyterate, the deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits on the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> for those who travel by sea, <coughs> near and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, Peter, and for his blessed memory, and that his every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
that he may stand and condemned before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, and that his soul be committed to the place of light and life, where all the saints and just repose, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. <clears throat> Lord our God, mighty, beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is your glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Amen. <clears throat> it is good to give Lord, thanks to the Lord and, Lord, Lord, and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, through the Lord, prayers Lord, of the Theotokos. O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. Robed is the Lord and girth about with strength through the prayers of your saints. O oh, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and, and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, Glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O oh, Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to Alleluia. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown his might of his arm. By his death the Lord has trampled death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of Hades and has granted great mercy to the world. You were an apostle of Christ, the beloved brother of 
of John. O praise worthy James, abstain absolution for those who sing the praises of your memory. Find and find mercy, O oh, for our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, glorious James, when you heard the divine word calling you, you put aside your love for your father and buried to Christ with your brother John. Therefore, both of you were made worthy to see the divine transfiguration of the Lord. Now and ever and forever. Amen. O Lord, with your divine authority, as you once raised the paralytic, now raise my soul, paralyzed dreadfully with all kinds of sin and disgraceful deeds, that being saved, I may cry out to you. Glory to your power, O merciful Christ. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, Father, and to the Son, and to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive, peace be to all, wisdom be attentive. May your mercy, O Lord, be upon us. May your mercy be upon us who have placed our hope in you. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous ones. Grace from the upright is fitting. Through all the earth their voice resounds, their message reaches to the ends of the world. Wisdom. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, when Peter was making numerous journeys, he went among other places to God's holy people living in Lydda. 
There he found a man named Aeneas, a paralytic who had been bedridden for eight years. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ cures you. Get up and make your bed. <clears throat> the man got up at once. All the inhabitants of Lydda and Sharon, upon seeing him, were converted to the Lord. Now in Joppa, there was a certain woman convert named Tabitha, in Greek, Dorcas, meaning a gazelle. Her life was marked by constant good deeds and acts of charity. At about that time, she fell ill and died. They washed her body and laid it out in an upstairs room. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples who had heard that Peter was there sent two men to him with the urgent request, Please come over to us without delay. <clears throat> Peter set out with them as they asked. Upon his arrival, they took him to the upstairs room. All the widows came to him in tears and showed him the various garments Dorcas had made when she was still with them. <clears throat> Peter first made everyone go outside. Then he knelt down and prayed. Turning to the dead body, he said, Tabitha, stand up. She opened her eyes, then looked at Peter and sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her to, his, to her feet. The next thing he did was to call in those who were believers and, and the widows to show them all that she was alive. This became known all over Joppa, and because of it, many came to believe in the Lord. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia. 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 I shall sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all generations my mouth will proclaim your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. For you have said, mercy is built to last forever. Your truth is firmly established in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia. The heavens declare your wonders, O Lord, and your truth in the assembly of the holy. Alleluia. 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 Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. <clears throat> Let us be attentive. At the time, on the occasion of a Jewish feast, Jesus went up to Jerusalem, now in Jerusalem by the sheep pool, there is a place with the Hebrew name Bethesda. It's five for the ghosts were crowded with the sick people lying there blind, lame or disabled, waiting for the movement of the water. There was one man who had been sick for 38 years. Jesus, who knew the man had been sick for a long time, said when he saw him lying there, Do you want to be healed? Sir, the sick man answered, I do not have anyone to plunge me into the pool once the water has been stirred up. 
By the time I get there, someone else has gone in ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, pick up your mat and walk. The man was immediately cured. He picked up his mat and began to walk. The day was a Sabbath. Consequently, some of the Jews began telling the man who had been cured, it is the Sabbath and you are not allowed to carry that mat around. He explained, it was the man who cured me who told me, pick up your mat and walk. This person who told you to pick it up and walk, they asked, who is he? The man who had been restored to health had no idea who it was. The crowd in that place was so great that Jesus had been able to slip away. Later on, Jesus found the man in the temple, precising and said to him, Remember now, you have been cured. Give up your sins so that something worse may not overtake you. The man went off and informed the Jews that Jesus was the one who had cured him. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos was cres. Christos was cres. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on the fourth Sunday <clears throat> after Easter, the church remembered the miraculous heal, healing of the paralytic by the Lord Jesus Christ in the, sec in the second year of his evangelical preaching. Jesus heals a paralyzed man who waited a long time for someone to help him get to the water in the miracles pool of Bethesda. Having no one uh, to lower him into the pool when the water recedes, he does not give up hope. This hope is uh, rewarded by Jesus without asking the paralytic, paralytic man even about faith, without which Jesus did not perform miracles. Christ heals the paralytic on the Sabbath, showing that mercy knows no day of rest. It is interesting that we are already familiar with the story of the uh, paralyzed man, paralytic man. It was one of uh, Sundays that prepared us for a great land. But in that story, there were friends who helped their friend reach Christ and get healed. And this one has been unable to do anything for so many years, 38 years. In other words, no one wanted to help him. We do not know why he had an illness, but Christ uh, words sin no more let something worse happen to you may prompt us to think and perhaps these words will help to reveal the secret of why he did not had friends who would help him after all it was only necessary to push him to the healing water and there was no one who would do it. So why was he rejected by everyone? Why did no one want to help him? We do not know whatever we will find an answer to this question. We know only one thing. 
sin entails harmful and painful consequences, even exclusion from society. So let's think about <clears throat> ourselves <clears throat> and uh, our life. Let's ask ourselves a similar question. If you were in a similar situation, would you find a person who would help you? Who would like to help you? When no one wants to help you, don't rush to blame others, but think about yourself. Did you deserve help? Maybe, maybe this is not a good question. Did you deserve help? But it reveals to us the simple truth that there are people whom you want to help and there are those whom it is better to simply pass by. Bitter reality of life. Bitter reality of life. Maybe that man was just Faced by, it's hard to admit, but it is worth thinking about the fact that we should not be such that others do not want to help. In this order of thinking, there is a second important thought. This is the example of Christ. Although everyone rejected that man, Christ himself goes to him to heal him. He is helped without benefit, without reprimand. He is asking for a change in his life so that it does not get worse. So no matter who you are, for God is no matter who you are, no matter what your past is. Jesus is the one who will always find you and is always ready to heal you and bring you back to life. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Again we pray you, O Lord our God, hear our supplication and through your grace have mercy on your servant, Brian Patrick. Grant all his petitions <clears throat> and pardon all his <clears throat> voluntary and involuntary sins. Accept his supplications and charitable deeds before the throne of your majesty. Safeguard him from every visible and invisible enemy, from every misfortune, distress, and affliction. Spare him from illness and grant him health and long life. Let us all say, O Lord, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Loving Lord, look down with merciful eyes upon your servants, all people here present, and hear the supplications that we have offered up with faith. For you yourself have said, believe that you will receive whatever you ask for in, in prayer, and it will be yours. You also said, ask and you will receive, because of this unworthy as we are. We trust in your mercy and ask that you be merciful to your servant, Brian, Patrick, and fulfill his good desire. Keep him in peace, <clears throat> in quality and health, and grant him long life. Let us all say, O oh Lord, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have <laughs> mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Again we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Peter, and that his every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God commit his soul to the place where the just repose. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven, and for the remission of his sins, let us beseech Christ. Immortal King and our God, grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, we trample that and broke the power of the devil and granted life to your world. Now grant rest, O Lord, to the soul of your departed servant, Peter, in a place of light, joy and peace, where there is no pain, sorrow, no mourning, as a good and loving God, forgive every sin committed by him in word, deed or sword. Since there is no one who lives and does not sin, you alone are without sin. Your justice is eternal justice, and your word is truth. For you, O Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant Peter, and we give glory to you. With your eternal Father and your all-holy good and life, creating spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the Thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity. Now set aside all earthly cares. All
now set aside Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, and our priestly diaconal and monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always now and ever and forever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by angelic For us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God Almighty, who will honor holy and receive the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart, accept also the prayer of us sinners, bring us to your holy altar, and enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifice for our sins and for the people's failings. Make us worthy to find favor in your sight that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest on us, on these gifts here present, and on all your people. Grant this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. The Father <laughs> and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in and one Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, Son of Son God, of God the, the only begotten, begotten, born of born the Father, Father before all ages, all ages light from light, light, true God from true God, God begotten, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, the Father through whom all things were made. made. For us for and us for our salvation, salvation he came down, down from heaven and was and incarnate was from the Holy Spirit, Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He, he was, was crucified, crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and, and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. 
Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to all for the holy and upright in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion, for you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, <clears throat> yet ever the same, you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of non-existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which we are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many eyes soaring aloft on their wings, singing, Shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Power, so loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf on the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself. For the life of the world, he took breath into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, you do shall us after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, the saving command and all that has come to pass in our we have. The cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you 
your own, from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, pray to you, our God. Lord, we offer to you spiritual and bloody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon this gift, lying before us. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the fullness of the heavenly kingdom and confidence in you, no judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those departing in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, <clears throat> mortals, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady. The Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the angel exclaim to her full of grace, rejoice, O pure <laughs> Virgin, and again I say rejoice. Your son is risen from the grave on the third day and has raised the dead. Rejoice all you nations, shine in splendor, O New Jerusalem. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. O Zion, now dance and be glad. And you, pure Theotokos, rejoice in the resurrection of your Son. Among the first, the Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend and Bolton William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years. Had they faithfully imparted the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, the city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea, air and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches. And those who remember the poor, and the bundle of us send down your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart, we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name. <coughs> Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in the beast, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy heavenly and mystical altars and aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return His divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Let me be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by Your grace. Lord, have mercy.
mercy. Let this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful, and of our life and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope and we implore, pray and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you in the judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father. God of heaven and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For sign is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all and to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, mm. O Lord. Lord. You have fashioned all things, and the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of an existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you. For they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, cure those who are sick of physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, <clears throat> with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Ah. <clears throat> Let us be attentive, holy gifts, to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. O Lord, I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, Amen. of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. 
Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Receive the body of Christ. Drink the source of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Drink the source of immortality. Alleluia. Alleluia. Fear of God and with faith, Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he's granted life. Christos was crescent, his Smetius met Bokrau, Isus Shivorobi, Jivotaroba. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs. He's granted life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Praise Him in the above 
Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen. Heaven's joy has come upon us, blessed Easter ends all sadness. On this day with joy declaring, God has given, we are sharing. We are saved from all distress. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen. All from slumber now is risen, on this day new life is given. Earth and heaven heard the story of the triumph and of the glory. All rejoice, for we are blessed. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen in the midst of every nation. Let there be this proclamation that in Christ we now are risen. A new life to us is given. Live in peace and happiness. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Wondrous peace the world embraces. God is present in all places. Let us join the angels' voices. All kind mankind this day rejoices. With all gladness we profess. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ <laughs> is risen from the dead. Christ, Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled By death He's granted, he's granted, he's granted life. By death he's trampled death. By death he's trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, He's granted, he's granted, he's granted life. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those <coughs> in the tombs He's granted life. (coughs) 
Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. By death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he's granted life. Arise, now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have <coughs> mercy. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. <clears throat> Glorify them in return by your divine power and will forsake as we open you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government and to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, <clears throat> thanksgiving and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now, now and forever. forever. Blessed be, be the, the name of the Lord. Lord now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead, <laughs> by death he's trampled death, and to those in the tombs he's granted life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give the blessing. May Christ our true God, risen from the dead, by death he trampled death, and to those in the tombs he granted life. Have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, Petronius of this holy church, and of the holy glorious and illustrious apostles of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and he loves us all. Ah, <laughs> ah, amen. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christos was Christ. Christ in his voice, Christ. Christos Anesti. Aletos Anesti. Christ is risen. Indeed, In blessed is risen. repose, grant the Lord eternal rest. To your departed servant, Peter, and remember him forever. Eternal <coughs> memories. Eternal memory. <coughs> blessed repose. Brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, just one thing about picnic. We already started to prepare some stuff, uh, something for a parish picnic for, for both parishes, St. John and St. Mary's. So if, if somebody would like to help with, uh, with money or some food or some stuff, you can ask Vince Fay or, uh, or me. Uh, probably uh, we'll have this uh, parish picnic like we had last year on September. 
I don't know yet uh, time and uh, day. It will be Sunday, of course. But the rest of, of information, you, I will let you know a little bit later. And of course, we'll have this information in a, bullet, in a bulletin. Today, I would like to wish everyone a good and blessed uh, day and blessed week. May God bless all our families, all people here present. And also, we have <clears throat> one a man who had a birthday yesterday, Brian Patrick. So I wish him many, many blessed years and also for each of you. Uh, if you have some questions or some proposals, please feel free to ask or after liturgy or any day. Or you can call. But better if you will send a message. It's better for me. To all people here present and to all our prisoners and especially to our brother, Brian Patrick, grant the Lord many years Christ is risen. God grant us many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many blessed years. In health and happiness, in health and happiness, God grant us many blessed years. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen from the dead. By death, by death, he trampled death. By death, by death, he trampled death. And to those in the tombs, and to those in the tombs, he's granted, he's granted, he's granted life. And to us he's granted life eternal. Let us bow before his resurrection on the third day.